For some women, this would be a dream come true. A whole workshop of shoemakers, hand-producing designer footwear. In the 1980s, Kelion and Jourdan enjoyed almost mythical status in the French world of high heels and open toes. But by the 1990s, the company was struggling as Asian competitors pushed their way onto the market. Recently bought up by France's number one shoe trader, Royer, the brand is now experiencing a new lease of life. We're currently producing between 70 and 100 pairs of shoes a day. The aim is to reach 200 to 250. Erring on the side of caution, the group has decided to build up business gradually. These stilettos, for example, are currently only sold in France. The workshops being run by former Kelion Jourdan employees, who are among the lucky few. In the last 10 years, some 70% of the company's workforce have been let go. When Kelion and Jourdan closed, we thought our time in the shoe industry was over. Never thought I'd work in this line of business again. Over the past decade, only one of France's luxury footwear brands has stood the test of time. Robert Clergerie currently produces 110,000 pairs a year, and news of Kelion and Jourdan's relaunch doesn't ruffle any feathers. Good luck to them. If Jordan becomes as big as it was before, it would be great. One thing's for sure, the demand is there. France's shoe industry is second only to that of the United States. A million pairs are sold across the country every day.